Hello, Moorhead. I'm Mayor Jonathan Judd, and I'm sitting here today with Derek LaPointe from Downtown Moorhead, Inc., and Sherry Larson with the Moorhead Business Association. And I want you to know that I know that things are very fast moving with developments regarding how COVID-19 is affecting our city and our region, but we want to give you a message to let you know that United, we stand here to help employers, employees, and the businesses that serve our city. So what we're looking at doing with this message is to first and foremost, I want to get out one special point to say that pursuant to Governor Walz's executive stay at home order that was announced today, you know, which will go into effect on Friday, but what we want you all to know regarding that is things are normal, meaning you can cross the river if you're a Moorhead resident and you work in Fargo, you can drive into North Dakota without any issues or concerns. There will not be any checkpoints. The police will not stop you. In essence, it's going from home to work and you're just fine. The biggest misconception that we want to clear up is that you're not able to move freely within the city, within the state, or be able to cross into North Dakota. You do not need any paperwork in order to leave your, your home and go to work. So we want to make sure that that is clear from that order, but also to know that we're asking uh, residents of the city and the region just to be responsible in how you transport. Meaning, if you're gonna go from work to home and vice versa, just be sure to be responsible and minimize your contact with individuals while you're going from home to work. So with that being said, I will pass it over to Derek McCoy from Downtown Morning Inc. that will give some updates about what is moving in Minnesota regarding employers, employees, and businesses. Derek? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I uh, appreciate the opportunity to speak to our, our Moorhead businesses and residents tonight. Uh, we have been working very diligently with our businesses, the state departments, the governor's office as things move very fluidly. Uh, there's been a lot of significant changes over our state uh, orders over the last number of, of weeks, and days, uh, and hours. Uh, Mr. Mayor spoke uh, significantly to the governor's order of stay at home. Uh, we do have a very extensive list that's listed at the Department of Employment and Economic Development's website that uh, lists our critical sectors. Uh, that website, and if you're a business in our community that's wondering if you're exempt or not, or, or defined as critical sectors, is mn.gov slash d slash critical. We are uh, encouraging all businesses to look at that website, determine your eligibility, if you have further questions, feel free to reach out to the city, myself, or Sherry Larson. Uh, we'll be able to try to help you with your questions when it comes to your specific needs. We are grateful that this list is robust. Uh, it isn't as uh, severe and as um, restrictive as what we're seeing in other communities and other states or across the country and across the nation. Uh, so we are grateful to the governor that it is a little bit more, um, less stringent than it is in other, in other states. The one thing that we want to tell and continue to tell our business owners is, is call your local lenders. We have great financial institutions in our region. Your lenders are the biggest source of knowledge when it comes to different assistance programs and tools that are available. They'll know the SBA programs, they'll know what's coming down the federal pipeline, and they have the most flexibility that they may be able to send, extend credit to your business uh, and help you out on a short-term basis the quickest possible. We are continuing to track the federal assistance that's being talked about uh, on a daily, hourly basis. Uh, there's a lot of different uh, moving parts with this, but as we know more, uh, we will continue to push that message out to our business. We do know that the federal assistance and relief will be the most robust and the most comprehensive uh, for our businesses. In addition to some additional, uh, in addition to some resources out there, we have the SBA disaster loan. We have the DEED small business emergency loan. These are our low interest or no interest loans that our businesses can qualify. We, we encourage you to apply online, talk to your local SBA advisor, your local lender, or reach out to DEED with, uh, with those questions. We also have had significant, um, significant resources from the state of Minnesota, specifically the health department. We had $200 million in grant funds for healthcare. 
our healthcare system is, is first and foremost what we want to prepare and, and stock up for whatever may come our way. Uh, that, uh, that, in addition, we were able to contact our, our healthcare providers to make sure they have that information. We have a, a robust unemployment insurance program, uh, primarily designated for layoffs in our community, for the businesses that have had to, to do that, that have been affected by COVID-19. One thing that uh, is unique to our state is students are eligible. So we, we really want you to check with our state, the unemployment insurance uh, website to see if you're eligible or not. And income tax, uh, a lot of questions about this. The state of Minnesota came out and our filing date for income taxes is the same as the federal guidelines, which is now July 15th. So we have some relief there. For businesses, there's also an additional sales tax uh, ex extension for those payments to the state, a 30 day sales tax use grace period for businesses. Uh, definitely look into that. I know we have a lot of retailers, uh, a lot of people asking questions about that. Make sure you're looking into it. Uh, renewals, extensions, waivers, etc. There's a lot of different things happening at the local level and the state level as well. Uh, Mayor Judd announced the other day in partnership with Morehead Public Service that they'd be waiving late fees on utility bills. That's just one of the local initiatives that we're, we're really trying to be conscious of our, our citizens and our businesses. In addition, we have the West Central Initiative and the Morehead Loan Fund that we're trying to get as creative and flexible with to help those businesses that may not qualify for the other resources available. Uh, as always, continue to, to support local. There's uh, ever-changing pieces of this. We have businesses, restaurants, uh, bars that are, are seeking our help. I, I know they've been flooded with a ton of community support already, but with these new additional orders and, and lasting a little bit longer for, for more takeout and delivery services, let's make sure we support our local businesses, buy gift cards, uh, shop local when we can. And the, the great part about our community is we're resilient. Uh, we, are, we are strong here. Uh, there are so many great stories that are out in our community right now. So many businesses and people that want to volunteer and help and, and providing great services. We need to uplift those stories. We also need to figure out how we connect those people that want to help uh, to how they can help in this, this uh, period of, of staying stay at home. So we're, uh, we're here to serve you, we're here to help you, we're here to work in partnership with, uh, with many of our regional groups. Uh, expect a, a business survey to come, come within the next 24 hours where we'll be uh, trying to figure out what the, the specific business needs are so we can go to work to find these local programs that will help. As always, we're here to help. Um, we feel for you. Um, there is gonna be a light at the end of the tunnel, we know it. Um, we want to help, we are here to serve you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Well, thank you, Derek, for that. And also, uh, at this time, I'll also kick it over to Sherry Larson, the Moorhead Business Association. Again, a very vital partner uh, in all of this. So Sherry, if you want to share a few words and thoughts. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, busy working and contacting businesses in the uh, Moorhead area. And what I am finding out that the social media is the way to connect with our other businesses, the volunteers, as you mentioned, Derek, as well as letting out, getting out the word. Um, whether it be you're extending your hours or you're closing or here's my special, here's my product, here's there's videos. There's so many creative ways in which the businesses are trying to attract people to come to them. A lot of people are now going online so that you can do uh, pick up your service there or have it delivered to your home. Um, curbside delivery is not just for restaurants or bars. Lord Ace is doing that. You place the order online, they'll have it at the curb. So um, there's a lot of neat things going on to increase their businesses. Um, with that in mind, again, keep in mind social media is the way. So make sure that your Facebook page is up to date. You list your times of your restaurants. And if you're closed, let the people know there's a lot of businesses that are remodeling right now because they're closed. What a perfect time to do it because you can't do it when you're in business. So share those photos, share those images, because people want to know what's going on with you and how your employees are still being employed. Um, Derek and I, you think maybe we talk five, six, seven times a day. Um, <laughs> so we are staying in touch. I mean, if I've got a question, I shoot it at Derek and he'll get right back to me. If not, we just want the, the public and the community and the business people to know that if you have a question, ask. Don't be afraid to ask and call me at 218-284-4643. I don't know all the answers, and I will reach out to the city or to Derek and get the answers and get back to them. But if you don't ask the questions, you know, otherwise go to our websites or go to our Facebook page. 
go to the MBA's Facebook page, go to the downtown Moore Inc., the city of Moorhead, um, lots of information on there. Sorry for competitive, but we want to make sure that you guys get all the information. And um, I appreciate being able to work with the two of you. Yeah, please. I, I will note too, Sherry brings up a really good point that I think is important for our businesses to know. <clears throat> There's a, a lot of resources out there, a lot of sources of the information and of, of, of what is available to our businesses. Um, stick to your, stick to who you follow, right? There's a lot of things. That know that between Sherry, the city, uh, so the MBA, the city, downtown Moorhead Inc., we're working closely with the chamber, uh, the Greater Fargo Moorhead EDC. Utilize those resources, check those sites uh, regularly. We're trying to update consistently as possible. Uh, Sherry and I have, have really tried to coordinate our efforts through the City of Moorhead's business page. We've put in some vital links on there that direct direct source resources. That's the important thing. We don't want to, we can't, we're a small enough group here where we can't take the time to update it constantly. We have some big organizations at the state level that are doing it. Uh, the state of Minnesota Chamber has very, very up-to-date resources. Our local chamber has up-to-date uh, businesses that are open. Sherry's been in contact with those individuals. Um, utilize those tools because they're out there and people want to uh, people want to see it. And there's there's resources out there for people to take advantage of. Great. Do you have anything else you want to add? Be more hit be more strong. And then to that, you know, uh, folks, I guess, you know, to wrap this up, you know, we have a team of people here ready to serve each and every one of you, uh, regardless if you are uh, an employee, employer, a business. Uh, we all know that Moorhead has historically always been extremely supportive of our own. Uh, the same businesses that are asking for help and needing our help now are the exact same businesses that we go to to help sponsor our youth teams, our youth sports teams our school events. I mean, we have a community that gives and helps and, and everybody's all in this together. So please feel free if you have any questions, thoughts, concerns, please reach out to Derek, Sherry, or city staff here in the city. We're here to get everyone through this together. So again, to reiterate what uh, Sherry just said, more head proud, more head strong, and take care. Stay safe, stay healthy.